Isn't that uh, what's his name? It was with Trump. The oh please, Kanye. Oh, Didn't they no, have the ca- zero, 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 zero. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye knows he's been used now. Did you see that? He's, he's a <laughs> shot <shocked> guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it took. Who's going first? You are. I think you are. Oh yay! Oh, you, you, don't, you don't really want to go first. Oh, you're staying. Oh, you're staying. Let's get. You're you easy anyway. Usually, usually all walking, Wait a minute. She had the seniority. This was my seniority. You're going to be quick, anyways, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I feel the same way you are, Mike. Why don't we get rid of it? Get rid of Parks and Rec after that, and leave Mike for last. Whatever. I don't care. You are. So that would be up to that would be up to um, <laughs> Trusty Gear since she's got the. Uh, it's like Your Honor, Your Honor. <laughs> Well, uh, where are we at? <laughs> are you guys ready? We're in the Orland Park Village Hall. We'll do public, <laughs> public safety, parks and rec, and finance. Perfect. All right. You guys ready? We got to focus mm-hmm. now. Okay. Which committee? You. Public safety. Okay. Public safety, parks right. and rec, and <laughs> finance. Mm-hmm. Trustee Guerra. Here. Trustee Calendrell. Here. Trustee Carroll. Here. Public safety approval minutes. Adam Chair. Trustee Carroll. I move to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of the Public Safety Committee of October 1st, 2018. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I will abstain. I was not here for that meeting. You're abstaining? Yes. Uh, amending Title IX, Chapter 7 of Village Code. Uh, Madam Chairman, this is a request to amend the uh, Village Code for different parking. Seems like a good idea. Any questions from anyone in the audience from the committee? Madam Chair. 
Trustee Carroll. Yeah, I'll, I'll affirm. I was I was just approached by a resident living on. I think it was lunar. It is lunar, about just the garbage. Not only is it overflow, as the chief mentioned, but then it blows out into the street, onto Lakeview. And speaking with AVM Keating and, and talking with code enforcement, it sounds like it's a regular problem. Uh, and they have had. I talked to someone else that used to have even the swap workers from the sheriff come out and work that area because there was so much garbage on that street. I did refer that resident to code enforcement for any future problems, and then if that doesn't solve it, to also talk to the police department. But it clearly needs to be addressed. It seems like a perfect way to do it. There are no other questions. The chair will entertain a motion. Madam Chair. Trustee Kendra. I move to recommend to the village board to pass an ordinance entitled an ordinance amending Title IX, Chapter 9, Section 7 of the Allen Park Village Code by restricting parking during certain times for Luna. Kennedy, Franklin, Lincoln, and Orland Courts. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Parks and Rec approval minutes. Looking for a motion. Mr. Chairman. Trustee Carroll. I move to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of the Parks and Rec Committee of October 1st, 2018. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Again, I will abstain. Is there any questions or comments from the audience for Parks and Rec? Thank you. Uh, Finance Committee approval minutes. I will entertain a motion. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Oh. Trustee Kira. I move to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of the Finance Committee of October 1, 2018. Second. Any comments, questions, or corrections? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And again, I abstain. Okay. Liability property insurance renewal. Yeah. Okay, so this is our annual renewal for liability, property insurance, as well as workers' compensation. Um, you can see in the second paragraph there that our renewal is less than it was last year by about 2.6%. This is for a number of reasons. Some of the premiums went down a little bit. Some of them went up a little bit. On one of our lines, we uh, changed the retention amount from 25 to 15. This is usual and customary each year. There's, there's usually a change in the premiums up and down in any way. Um, a lot of it has to do with our claims history. We've got a good claims history. We use CCMSI for claims that we send out of house, and many of them we just manage in house ourselves if they're under our deductible. Um, Mike, will, or Mike Leeson and Dave Bresnahan from the Horton Group are here if you guys have any other specific questions for them. Um, and we recommend that we retain the Horton Group through 2019. Their service fee is included in the amount that's listed below, and they'll work with us throughout the year with anything that comes up re insurance related. The only question I would have is just a little bit of an explanation of that uh, network security privacy retention, the 25 to 15. We just get a brief explanation of that. Okay, yeah. Um, Mike, would you mind? Uh, essentially, what we've seen. Uh, Why don't you, can you come up towards yeah. your honor, Mr. Lamargo, and get you a microphone just for the minutes? Yeah. There you go. Thank you, John. Uh, Dave Bresnahan with the Horton Group. Um, what we've seen over the years, network security is also known as cyber liability. When we put that program in place for the village uh, three or four years ago, it was a fairly new coverage to the market. As that product has evolved and more loss history has been built up, we've seen more carriers enter that space. And anytime you get more carriers, you see what we saw this year where uh, you just get improved terms and conditions. So we were able to secure a lower premium with a lower deductible for you uh, due to new competition and the good lost history you'd built up on the prior program. An equivalent level of protection that we had as far as coverage? Correct. Terms okay. and conditions are equal, if not better, uh, just with a lower premium and lower deductibles. Great. Any other questions from the committee? Any questions from the audience for this issue? No. I, just want, I, I think uh, some of your partners at maybe the last month's or the previous month's board meeting, and I think Ann and her staff as well, this is the second report we've gotten recently with premiums going down, so I'm very happy to hear that, and thank you for all your hard work. Yep. Entertain a motion? Trustee Calandrillo. I move to recommend to the Village Board of Trustee to approve the property and liability insurance carriers and premiums, as well as the CCMSI's claims handling fee and the Horton annual service fee in the amount of $786,675 as presented by the Horton Group. Second. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Budget adjustments, fourth quarter 2018. 
And it looks like we're mostly moving from one column to the other, but if you just give us a real brief rundown, please. Yeah, these are really just um, cleanup entries. We had some um, expenditures that we transferred from one fund to the other, and because it increases the overall spending of that fund, we need to bring it to the board for approval. Um, we bring these on a quarterly basis every year. We're showing here that the revenue is increasing by about 67000 and the spending by about 147 The fuel reimbursement is what we get from the fire district, paying for our fuel. And then we also did um, an adjustment because we're going to spend more in our fuel account this year than we anticipated. But we're getting reimbursed for the majority of it. In fact, then the fuel part from the fire district it looks like dollar for dollar as far as the revenue and expenditure. Yep. Same thing for the karate program. Um, and if I recall correctly, maybe you can refresh my memory, looking at one of the recent public works committee notes, the 80000 was a savings off of a previous program already budgeted. We're just transferring it, correct? Yes. Actually, it was funds that were supposed to be rolled over from 2017 that were savings that did not get rolled. Right. So we're adding it to the 2018 budget. Got it. Any other questions from the committee? Question. Trustee Gear? Uh, you said the fire district purchases... I don't know, fifty some thousand dollars worth of fuel from us. Is there anything in there too for our expenses in maintaining and providing this? Expense? Yeah, there's a there is a charge. I'm not familiar with exactly what it is, okay. but there is like a admin type charge that's exactly. added on that they pay us. Okay. My yeah. recollection from when I was chair was that there's a separate swipe card for their vehicles, and it's all done through the accounting. We know exactly how many gallons we're using. We have an admin fee. We charge them. There were even discussions with the district at the time that we were talking about replacing that whole center fuel island. Mm -hmm. And that's, that was still in the works when I left the committee, but I know that was in the works. Yep. Okay, good. Any other questions or comments from the committee? Any questions or comments from the audience? I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman. Trustee Gira. I move to recommend to the Village Board to approve increasing the fiscal year 2018 revenue budget by $67,668 and increasing the fiscal year 2018 expenditure budget by 147668 Second. Any other questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Motion. Go ahead. Motion adjourned. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you again for your, your hard we work. We're speedy quick and tonight. And we'll be back in 45 minutes for our general membership meeting. I mean, sorry. <laughs> that was the last night's meeting for our board meeting. Oh, yeah. I need you to put your magic uh, 12345 password in there, please. <laughs> it's 12345. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I, I tried doing it the other way you said that.